I'm so happy Alan and Sarah Sweetness say our grandpa got lost and we had yeah. to come find him. He's got Alzheimer's. We chased him up here. We just he used, he used to he used to be an inmate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Ready? Hi, my name is Jason Lanier. We're here somewhere in uh, Wales, United Kingdom, and we're going to go do an abandoned exploration, urban exploration of this beautiful building. This is the Denby Asylum. It's the Denby Asylum. This is where Alan was raised, and it's where I escaped. Ooh, that's the smell of urbex right there. This is pretty epic. This is pretty amazing. Hey guys, I'm gonna walk you through uh, this urbex with me, and uh, if you excuse my voice a little bit, I'm kind of under the weather right now, but I wanted to uh, share some of my thoughts and take you through what it's like to do an urbex with me and go to some of these amazing places. Right here I'm actually looking for a good place for us to be able to uh, stow away some of the gear because we had so much stuff and the place was so huge I felt bad I didn't want my, my crew to have to drag it around. Alright so what we're going to do is when I'm in these locations I never yell and get crazy. So what we're going to do is hide the gear. Um, and then we can do a walkthrough. Okay. So let's do that. Now you heard me talk about the fact that I don't like to make a lot of noise in places like this and it's because you can find vagrants and all sorts of other people and uh, in my experience it's best to stay quiet. All of these shots were taken using the Sony A7R2 with the 16-35 Sony Zeiss, uh, and all of them were edited just using Lightroom. On this shoot, I had Jason and Kristen with me, and uh, I had, we had two of our buddies, Alan and Tony, that are from the UK who joined us and assisted on a few shoots, and uh, we'll see later on. Alan and I start uh, mixing it up like we always do. We are good sparring partners for uh, verbal jabs. This is incredible, man. This is a massive urbex. This place kind of struck me as what the uh, Hogwarts from Harry Potter would look like if it ever shut down. Just massive, huge, and uh, kind of incomparable. Do something like that. Yeah. Let's go. Wow. It looks like catacombs. Enter at your own risk, seriously. It's not a safe place to be. Look at that little. Whenever I find something like this that's a natural item or artifact of a location, it's a huge bonus because it adds so much authenticity to the shoot. And we didn't move this wheelchair at all, it was already set there, and uh, I just shot around it. I wanted to capture it as it was. Uh, Found. Look at the bathtub. Guys, if you are going to go into a location like this, I recommend uh, wearing long sleeves, long pants, and uh, good work 
good boots to make sure that you're uh, protected from scratches and nails and all sorts of other stuff. Shot they're gonna use. That's the shot they're gonna use for your wanted picture. <laughs> so how do I choose what I shoot? Well, it's very simple. I choose it based on light. So uh, this was a great time of the day to shoot because there was a lot of light coming in the windows and natural light. I'm always going to choose the locations like this that allow those shadows and highlights to create some great shots. Did you get a nail? Yeah. One thing you may be noticing is that we are purposely making an effort to come in and out of the building to allow ourselves to breathe in some fresh air. So don't stay down in the, in the uh, unventilated parts for very long. It's not a good idea. Yeah, take all my asbestos off me. Put it on to you. <laughs> I've got six months there. <laughs> That's right. And we are here at the absolute perfect time to shoot this. There's lots of light coming in. I always love to be able to capture something through a window, a subject through a window like you'll see in the picture here. The house on that window on the right, I love stuff like that. And as much as I love wide angle shots, I've also learned to take detailed shots as I go through an urbex, like you'll see of the bell here and other pictures in part two as well. This is really remarkable. As you guys can see here, it really is important to do these types of shoots, or even a modern day ar architectural shoot, it's important to do them when light is uh, coming in and is optimal. What's that? I gotta get in front. Say Snickers. It means that. No. When we say Snickers. <laughs> this room here was my favorite for part one and you're going to see why the, the shots and the lighting was pretty outstanding. This is the most amazing room. So this room is amazing. The natural light shots I've gotten in here. I'll show you guys just some out of the back of my camera. I'll always, always, always choose natural light as my first option. I will, do, I will from now on.
has a hint of. No, has a hint of. <laughs> has a hint of formaldehyde. <laughs> this is my chum right here. If I was born 50 years earlier, we would have been best friends. <laughs> to see you guys know, Alan is the man responsible for teasing me so much about my weight that I did something about it. So it's why you see me giving it back to him here. Look at that. Putting that, that crossbeam right in the center of the light. Oh, I can taste death. I bet your uh, mouth freshener is called the Fountain of Youth. I use it for aftershave. HGH. What's HGH? Human growth hormone. <laughs> What's that? You put horse manure in the boots. You put horse manure in my boots? No, in his. Oh, yeah. He needs them. <laughs> <laughs> and let me guess, you're putting... <laughs> let me guess, you're lacing my cereal with diet, diet pills. <laughs> <laughs> You think you're gonna I'm hold gonna my weight? You. I'm gonna push you. I know you will. <laughs> Cheeky Boston. I'm just, I'm just returning the favor. You've been doling out kisses for the longest time. One thing that always strikes me is how some of these abandoned locations can be so peaceful and serene because there's just nothing else around there, and it's. Uh, Left alone. Make sure to not watch just your head, but also your feet. Many abandoned locations have floors that are completely rotted out and you can fall very quickly and get hurt. If you're by yourself, you could be stranded. This is just, this building is just remarkable. I love shots like this where I can get lines and lighting coming in, it's just stunning. This is another one of my favorite shots from part one and uh, really just shows uh, how getting down and getting those details is important. You know, no matter how many of these that I do, it never ceases to amaze me that a place this magnificent can fall into such disrepair. No matter how many of these that I do, and I see it over and over and over again, it's goes to show. I remember asking my dad when I was a little kid, what would happen if just we stopped, human beings just stopped? And he said, well, nature would reclaim it all. And it's hard to imagine that, but when you see what's happening, it's pretty remarkable. The rain and wind will destroy it. And I mean, you see all these roofs caved in and it's, it's remarkable what nature will do when we're not upkeeping things. There's nails sticking out, be careful over here. Again, guys, just look at all the light that I'm walking through. Look at all these places that I'm searching for light. Explore that light, search for that light, and shoot the light. That's gonna be an amazing shot. That's gonna be amazing. So guys, thanks for joining me for part one. Make sure to stick around for part two where we encounter some other folks at the uh, Lunatic Asylum. and. Like I always say, keep shooting, never give up on your dreams. Find the right gear that works for you. And remember, you only have one chance to get it right. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. You guys still here? Hello?
Talking to you. Hey guys, if you want to learn online with me, go to patreon.com slash Photography, and you will be able to continue this craziness online from anywhere on planet Earth with me. If you want to join me live, go to jasonlinear.com slash workshops, and you'll get to see me in my full glory live and in person, guys. I think there's a smudge on there. Yeah, I got it. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.